Hi there, this is Ben from Global Mobile Communications, The Phone Trader. Today I've got the NGM Explorer handset with me. I just want to show you a few things to ensure that you have a smooth experience when using the handset. So, as you can see, we've got the back cover, the battery, and obviously the handset. And the first thing I want to alert you to is the actual internals of the handset. So, what you've got is SIM 1 on the far right, and this is SIM 1, the hatch for it. The micro SD card here which it comes with an 8GB one in there and that goes in when it's inserted into the top of the tray first along the little runners, it's important to make sure that it does line up on these runners and that's how it stays in there on its own and then you can close it and lock it across, you'll hear that little click that's locked in. So the next bit Inserting SIM 1, which is the primary SIM, which has 3G data enabled. The SIM card goes into the top in the hatch, again in its little runners, and you'll see it is nice and flush and sits in there. And then it's closed over, lined up like so. And then with both these two little catches here in place, you just want to use your nail, that clicks into place. And that's now locked in there nice and solid. So just to show you the locking in again. Unlocked, locked. Okay, so that was the SIM card fully inserted into the handset. So then we can take the battery, battery contacts, obviously lined up with the contacts on the phone, and the back cover. Now in this instance, I'm just going to do these just finger tight. Just do a little bit more. Obviously, when you're setting the phone up for the first time, you want to do these to just finger tight with the little tool provided and then that will ensure that the seal around the back of this uh, battery cover here is completely solid. And just turn it on. Okay, so now that we've got the handset SIM card installed fully, the memory card installed fully, we've turned the phone on and we've been presented with the home screen. We need to check a few settings to do with the data connectivity on the handset. So the first thing we want to do is press this button down here, and this is the home button, and it will bring up the main menu. Then we want to scroll down the main menu until we get to settings, which is this small icon. Once we're in settings, the main two we're interested in here are SIM management and wireless and networks. first one I'm going to go to is wireless and networks. So clicking on this, we are presented with a number of options to do with the wireless and network connectivity of the handset. We're going to scroll down a little bit until we get to mobile networks and then the main thing on this uh, screen that we're looking for is access point names, so second on the list. Once we click into access point names we can see what APNs uh, are available to the handset and how it connects to the network. You'll see in this case we've got one that's called Orange Internet and as we're using an Orange or EE uh, SIM card we're able to uh, click into this and see the settings which have been automatically filled out. So the main settings that we're interested in are the APN, which says Orange Internet, uh, the username, which in this case is user, and the password, which is actually the word pass. So all of these have been entered, and we've given the profile a name, which is Orange Internet, uh, and we're not really bothered about the other settings on this screen for now. So what we want to do, we can press this small uh, square with a rectangle, square with a triangle in the corner, and we can save any settings when they're made. And you'll see that this is the active APN. So now if we press back, so we get to the main settings menu. So here we are. And then if we go up to SIM management, this is where you can manage which one of your two SIM cards handles uh, each sort of responsibility for the handset, i.e. voice calls, video calls, and of course the data connection. So we've only got one SIM in, so it's only showing the EE or orange SIM at the top there and the mobile number for that. And then we've got data connection defined as being the EE SIM card, and that's a little green uh, dot in the circle there. So the other thing we need to set is the roaming rules for the handset. Because this is an Italian phone, if you're using it in the UK, it does need to have uh, data roaming enabled um, as it's not at home in Italy. So uh, press roaming and then uh, data roaming at the top there and you'll see what we need to do is put a, just a little tick in this box here to say that we would like to roam with this EE SIM card so you'll get a warning about uh, charges which is always the case if you are roaming internationally please call your network operator 
uh, to discuss any data bundles you might need to avoid incurring any unnecessary charges. So we just OK that and now we can see that that's telling us that that's going to roam. And the last thing we want to do is uh, show roaming reminder. Just set that to whatever you like. I mean, generally, never is OK as long as you're aware that you might need to uh, call the network if you're going to roam internationally. So we cancel that and that's it. So we've defined an access point name, we've set the roaming on the handset and we've made sure that's all connected. Any other problems, uh, please do give us an email and we can produce other guides to help you with using the handset. Uh, we hope you enjoy using the NGM Explorer. Thanks very much.